Hello. I thought I'd come on today to show you how to make these um, bags out of envelopes that I featured on my blog on Friday. They're just this one was made out of uh, like an A4 size envelope with uh, I think I did a two inch crease a score line around this one, and then all I did was I cut a pin a uh, piece of this uh, colour is called Rich Razzleberry. I cut a piece of matching card about two inches wide, scored it down the centre, cut it with a scallop die to make the fancy top. Um, so that's one of the bigger ones. I also used a little brown envelope to make these tiny little bags. They're all made out of just em old envelopes. Or an envelope. It wasn't. It was an old envelope because it was something that the girls brought home from uh, from something home from school in. But um, I've just bought some new ones so that uh, we could have a play today, and I could show you how to make them. Because some of you asked how to do the uh, the gussety fold down the side. So I'll start by um, start with a new envelope and show you from start to finish. Um, I'm going to be using stamps from the Blooms and Wishes stamp set from Stampin' Up, which you can buy from my Stampin' Up website. I will leave it in the link in, in the little box thing below. Right, I'll get started. This colour is mint macaron and it goes on quite dark but it does lighten up as it dries. They have matching papers to this uh, stamp set and they are beautiful. In fact, I've got a piece here I can show you. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous and then on the reverse it's got the one I used, actually I used this this side to make um, today's challenge card on my uh, blog. With. Right, let's go in with a bit of Island Indigo, now this is a lovely rich dark colour, not too. It's like a, it's like a dark tealy sort of. I don't know. I just love it. Went in the wrong colour there, didn't I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we'll go in with this one with some. Sahara sand. Go all quiet when I try to concentrate. Thing is, when you're doing this stamping, when you're doing this random stamping, you don't really need to concentrate. But because. Um, Um, I have, I'm not very good at uh, random stamping. I, I do find that I am concentrating. Let me just do a few little dots here and there to fill in a bit of the space. off the edge. Mm, quite like that I think. That's one side. 
We'll turn over and do the other side. Uh, what colour did that in the mint macaron? Now some of the pattern will get lost in the in the scoring we're going to do, and I always cut the top off. You can either do um, like I did on the uh, the little bag where I just cut with a. Um, you can either use your well, that's my tablet. Sorry, um, a cut with a fancy pair of scissors or a um, a die that's got a wavy edge. Just give it a fancy top, like the the paper bags used to get in the sweet shop when you used to get your pick and mix when you were little. Where a 10p mix used to last you half the week. Was it? No, it's two shillings, I think. We used to get from a nanny, she used to give us two shillings. Show me age now. Oh, everyone. Oh, I'm only getting half an image. Right, I'll do one up there even though I'm going to chop it off and then just go in with some dots. Just a bit. Last Wednesday, I was trying to show my friend Sue how to do. Well, she can stamp, obviously, but try, doing. Her and I both have always um, been quite. Um, I don't know, you get caught up in everything having to be symmetrical. So when you come to do something that isn't symmetrical, it is. Just so hard to be random. You almost have to shut your eyes and go for it. Right, I'm just cutting the top off of my envelope. Just um, just remove the flap. And I'm just going to get my scoreboard. Now I treated myself to the new um, to the stamping up scoreboard because I needed a new one. I had one that was um, wasn't only went up to 8 inches and then the other one I had didn't break it down into um, eighths of an inch so when you came to make a project that was um, described in eighths of an inch you used to get stuck so I treated myself to this one um, the stamping up one and the one thing if I like everything about it, but the one thing that I really enjoy about it is, and it sold it to me, was the uh, score marks go all the way up to the number. So you start at the top, you do one inch down that side. My battery light is flashing on my camera. One inch down that side, and one inch down that side and that's your scoring done
do your creases and then all you do I'm trying to rush now before the camera dies is open it up and then sort of like flatten out the sides and then you'll get a little triangle down the bottom here where you did your creases you're going to fold that in like that add a little bit of glue where you would if your glue would come out where's my other glue dried up while it was waiting right I've sorted my glue out and I'm back I'll just put some glue on these little flaps on the end and it's easier to put your hand inside the bag and then push it up into place like that and then you get your other little pointed bit that you've got here where your score lines all met come to the end of my glue I think Right, and then again, put your hand inside the bag and fold up. Stand it up and push down. And then all you're going to do is you've got your the edge of the envelope in the centre and then you've got your one inch score line that you did. So you're just going to pinch it together, pull your two the two score lines together on each side and that's going to give you your the sort of gussety bit down the side of your bag so it folds nicely you see that gives you your little you can sort of like burnish your creases this will all fold flat a bit of waiting for the glue to dry to be honest but you just sort of like do it along your creases and squash it all flat I'll show you on one of the dry ones and then all I did to finish this off was I took a two inch piece of card which I scored down the center and then I just used a fancy die to um I've got a bit stuck on there a fancy die to cut the edge you can see and then I'm just gonna and I punch the holes through with my so all I did was I placed it on the bag where I wanted it to be and then I got my hole punch and you just put it down and push and it thingies through when it's cuts its way through so now I'm just going to use a piece of white ribbon I had more time I'd probably dye it with the ink dye it uh, the mint macaron color but I think white will work just as well that's a good if you buy just white ribbon and then um, you can use your inks to dye it any color you like to match your papers and inks I've got ink all over my hair. It's not the neatest bow, typed, tied under pressure, but there you go. A cute little gift bag. 
So there's that one. There's the larger one that I did. And the little brown one that I just used a uh, scrap punch uh, die to cut the top. So I'll just I'll give, give just give you a quick recap of how to fold it. You hold it so I'm um, sort of like hold one side down flat. Then you have your little triangle bit which you pinch and stick down on either side. You've got your nice rectangular bottom, and then you just pinch your two scored lines together on either side. And this is what I mean about they fold flat when they're dry. You can fold them flat, store them flat. So, but um, they, they look quite neat on the bottom. You could cut another piece of card to uh, stick on the bottom if you like, but um, the ink's still drying on that one. But they look well. They look just the same as the ones from the shop do, but they're more fun because you've made them yourself. But I think that's a fun colourway. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much. Um, if you're new, if you could like, you can press the like button if you like the video that is, and subscribe, then you're here. You'll get notifications of when my next video comes in. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.